Want to work as an engineer in Australia in 2025 but don't know where to start? Whether you're in mechanical, civil, software, or even mining engineering, this video will guide you through every step of getting a sponsored job, visa support, and settling into the Australian workforce. Stay till the end when I reveal the most supportive employers that are actively sponsoring migrants right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Abby, and I help international professionals find their pathway to work and live in Australia. In today's video, I'll break down exactly how engineers can land a sponsored job in Australia in 2025, from job roles in demand, visa types, documents, salary expectations, to the actual companies currently hiring. Whether you're an electrical engineer from India, a software engineer from Nigeria, or a civil engineer from the Philippines, this video is for you. 1. Understanding what sponsored jobs mean in Australia. A sponsored job means an Australian employer is willing to support your visa application to legally work in Australia. For engineers, this is usually done through the Temporary Skill Shortage, TSS, Subclass 482 Visa, or the Employer Nomination Scheme, NS, Subclass 186, the employer must be approved by the Department of Home Affairs. Or they must prove they cannot find a suitable Australian to fill the role. They then nominate you as the ideal candidate. You apply for a visa using their nomination. This means you don't just apply for the visa. The employer plays a big part. 2. Types of engineering jobs. Most likely to get sponsored. A. Civil engineers. Infrastructure projects like roads, tunnels, bridges, and dams are booming. Big government infrastructure programs post-COVID make this a high-demand field. B. Electrical engineers, renewable energy, smart grids, and mining are driving demand. Also important in rail and airport expansions. C. Mechanical engineers. Needed in automotive, construction, HVAC, and manufacturing sectors. D. Software engineers and IT engineers. Major shortage in cybersecurity, AI, cloud computing, and development. Companies like Atlassian, Canva, and smaller fintech startups actively sponsor. Structural engineers, in high demand across cities like Melbourne, Sydney, and Brisbane. Very sought after in residential and commercial construction sectors. F. Mining and petroleum engineers. Australia's resource economy heavily relies on mining. Western Australia and Queensland are hotspots for mining sponsors. G. Environmental engineers. Important in sustainable projects, land rehabilitation, and water systems. 3. Visa options for engineering sponsored jobs. Subclass 482. Temporary skill shortage. TSS. Visa. Valid for up to four years. Must have at least two years of relevant experience. Employer must be an approved sponsor. Must be on the medium and long term strategic skills list. MLTSSL. Subclass 186, Employer Nomination Scheme, Permanent Residency, Permanent Visa Pathway, can be applied directly or after working under the 482 visa, must meet age and English proficiency criteria. Subclass 494, Skilled Employer Sponsored Regional, Provisional, for jobs in regional areas, leads to permanent residency after three years, incentivizes migrants to work in less populated cities like Hobart, Darwin, and Regional QLD. 4. Who is sponsoring engineers in Australia right now? 2025. These companies have historically offered sponsorships and continue to do so. ACOM Australia, Civil and Environmental Engineering, WSP Global, Transport and Structural Engineering, BHP and Rio Tinto, Mining, Mechanical and Electrical, HD Group, Various Branches Including Structural and Water. Downer Group, Infrastructure and Transport, Playing O'Rourke, Construction and Civil Projects, CPB Contractors, Civil and Mining, Atlassian, Software and DevOps Engineers, Telstra and Optus, Network, Electrical and Software Engineering, Solar Edge Australia, Renewable Energy Engineers, Tesla, Melbourne and Sydney, Automation and Mechanical Engineering Roles. Don't forget many of these are listed on seek.com.au. LinkedIn Jobs, and through recruitment firms like Hayes Engineering or Michael Page. 5. Salary Expectations for Sponsored Engineers in Australia Average Salaries in 2025 Engineering Role and Average Annual Salary 
Civil Engineer AUD $95,000 to $120,000. Electrical Engineer AUD $90,000 to $130,000. Software Engineer AUD $100,000 to $160,000. Mechanical Engineer AUD $85,000 to $120,000. Structural Engineer AUD $90,000 to $125,000. Mining Engineer AUD $120,000 to $180,000. These roles often include relocation benefits and visa sponsorship. 6. How to apply for engineering sponsorship jobs. Step-by-step -step strategy. 1. Update your resume, Australian format. Highlight responsibilities and achievements, not just duties. Tailor each CV to the job description. 2. Prepare a strong cover letter. Clearly state your experience and interest in visa sponsorship. Use keywords from the job post. 3. Register with Australian job sites. Seek.com.au, Indeed.com.au, LinkedIn. Set your location preference to Australia. 4. Target recruitment agencies. Hayes, Randstad, Michael Page, engineering people. 5. Search for sponsorship available jobs. Use filters like Visa Sponsorship, TSS, or 482 in your job search. 7. Required documents for visa and sponsorship applications. Basic document checklist. Valid passport. English test result. IELTS PTE TOEFL. Proof of qualifications. Certificates plus transcripts. Work experience letters, signed and stamped. Skills assessment, via Engineers Australia. Resume in Australian format. Police clearance certificate. Health examination result. If you're enjoying this breakdown, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. As a YouTube community member, you'll get access to exclusive early videos, behind-the-scenes content, and private live streams where you can ask me questions directly. It's also the best way to stay ahead of Australian migration changes. 8. Mistakes to avoid when applying for sponsored jobs. Applying without a tailored resume. Not mentioning visa sponsorship in cover letters. Using overseas resume formats. Not validating engineering. Qualifications via Engineers Australia. Ignoring jobs in regional or remote areas, which are often easier to get sponsored for. 9. Engineers Australia, the gatekeeper. You must get your engineering qualification assessed by Engineers Australia, EA, to be eligible for skilled migration or employer-sponsored visas. Three main pathways. Accredited qualification. Washington Accord Recognition. Competency Demonstration Report. CDR. Approval is needed before applying for many skilled visas. If you're serious about getting a sponsored engineering job in Australia, I can help you fast-track your journey. I offer visa consultation services where I personally guide you on the right visa for your background. Resume review for Australian recruiters. Preparing your Engineers Australia application. Document checklist. Interview preparation with potential sponsors. Ongoing support until you land the job. Join my YouTube community members group today. You'll get early access to all videos, private content not shared with the public, fast replies to your questions. Chat access during live streams. Special live Q&As for members only. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop your country and your engineering specialty in the comments. I'm always happy to help.